Hey, uh, good morning. My name is Ashwin. Uh, I'm uh, the Vice President in Saskin. I head up the Embedded Offerings. I'm going to talk to you about uh, two really key things that Saskin has been working on uh, in the IoT space. The first one is right here. We've got a connected car. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through that. And then a little bit later, I'm going to talk you through the Internet of Things reference design that we have, right? So let me sort of deep dive into what we have out here on the, uh, on the telematics uh, unit that Saskin has built. Uh, this is the telematics unit that, uh, you know, that we have. But what this represents is a deconstructed telematics unit. And the objective here is to actually show you that the car has a lot of ECUs, right? There's an ECU for your door, there's an ECU for your climate control, there's an ECU for your seat belt, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what it would be, right? In the real car, you would probably have, you know, maybe 60 of them over there. And the key thing is it's already there in your car but it's not connected to the outside world, right? And that's the exciting thing that Saskin is doing. So what we're doing really is now, uh, we are taking all of this information that's there in your car, connecting that up to a telematics unit, and taking that out into the cloud, so that you have information about your car in your palm, wherever you are in the world, on an app, right? So that's, this is what the app will look like, right? So let's, let's walk through a couple of scenarios, right? Scenario one is, you know, you've, you've, you've walked away, uh, you're, you're at work, there's something in your car that you know somebody needs to come in and pick up. So you don't need to go back all the way. What you do is you just press your thing out here, you know, press an icon out here, it enables the car door opens, and then you know, you know whoever it is that you trust picks whatever it is, and then you go back and then you, you know, lock, lock your door, right? That's, that's scenario one. All done with an app on the phone. Don't need to walk back to the car, all of that is gone, right? So that's, that's an interesting use case that we have done. Let's go, some, let's, let's look at another interesting use case, right? You're driving, uh, you're driving into the car, uh, as soon as you get in, you know, you go turn on and then you turn on climate control. Why not do that ahead of time, right? You know, get into a car that's really comfortable. So you sort of, ahead of time, pull up the climate control, turn, to, turn it to the temperature that you want, set it, and that's good to go. So, you know, when you get into the car, it's already up and running, and you know, you, you get into a very comfortable car and you start driving, right? It's, that's another example of, uh, of what we have. So like that, we've got a whole bunch of things. There is an ECU here that's monitoring the fuel levels. So, you know, if it's sort of continuously telling you where you are on the fuel, nothing new with that. But then now let's sort of put it together with a use case, right? You're running out of fuel, you're driving down a route, and then you figure that you need to refuel, but, you know, let's try and save some money out here. So it's going to find you the closest gas station where the fuel is the, you know, fuel is the most cheapest, right? So you say, you say you have 23 miles left, and in 20 miles you have a gas station on your left, and that's got the best deal for you. So that's something, these are kind of the kind of use cases that Saskin is enabling on the telematics unit. Uh, I'd like to talk you through another important thing, which is the safety, right? And with safety is so paramount, and uh, in the event that you have an airbag deployment out here, right? So that's an airbag deployment, I sort of simulated that, uh, which means that the, uh, you know, the airbag deployed in the car, so what next? So I get an SMS here right away, straight away, saying that, and I have a call as well saying, you know what? Uh, the airbag is deployed, somebody in the car is, uh, is, is you know, just go call them and fi figure out if they're really doing well, right? So, uh, and the SMS actually gives you the latitude and the longitude of, the, uh, of where it exactly happened. So you can sort of pin down to the position and then go and figure out what happened uh, at, at that particular thing. So these are some of the use cases that uh, we've enabled on the Saskin Telematics. There are a whole bunch of uh, interesting use cases that we believe are important. I can sort of try and talk you through, you're listening to, let's say, music on your Spotify, and you drive in home, and why does that need to stop, right? The moment you walk in home, you take that entire playlist and transfer it to your connected home as well. So that's, that's another interesting use case that we're working on. So this sort of represents the Saskin telematics uh, part from an IOD perspective, and integrating that, and integrating that into your life, not just when you're in the car, but you take the context of what you're doing in your car into your home, into your work, et cetera. So the second cool thing I'm going to talk to you today is about the Internet of, Internet of Things reference design. So Internet of Things really represents a lot of things to a lot of people, and it represents a lot of devices to a whole bunch of people, right? So the point is, how do you keep building all these multiple devices? And we have the answer for that. It's called an Internet of Things reference design. So this is a prototype that's got all the functionality that you can ever think of you want in an Internet of Things device in one small box. So it's got BT, you know, Bluetooth, it's got Bluetooth low energy, it's got Zigbee, it's got a GPS, it's got a cellular modem, all of that. You may want to ask, why do you have all of that in one box when you don't really need it, right? The objective is to have a platform from which you can build multiple devices. So let me give you an example of what we did with this platform. 
So here's a personal tracker, right? So this is used uh, to keep track of really young kids or really elderly people, and you sort of geofence them, and if the kid goes outside the geofence, you get an SMS saying, hey, you know, watch, the, your loved one is not really in the area that she should be in, and, you know, get them back. Also, this thing, you have a sm small vibration out there as a, as a sort of a notification saying that, you know, it's good to get back home at this point in time, right? What did we do then? So we actually took the reference design and we knocked off a bunch of features from here and actually built this thing, right? So we really leveraged the design that we had out here and built, the, built this uh, device out here. I'll give you another example. Here's what's called a smart key fob, right? So it's, this is paired to your phone and you lose it at some point and you can't find it at any point. You just take, take your phone, press a button and it'll buzz and you can go ahead and say, ah, my key is out there, I can find it out there. The other thing is you've forgotten your key and you walked away. After you reach, let's say, 20, 25 meters, your phone is going to buzz saying, you know, your, your buddy is not there with you. You need to go back and get your keys out there. And we did this by taking this reference design and knocking off a whole bunch of things. Now, I don't need the cellular modem out here. I don't need the GPS out here. I just need the Bluetooth low energy module. So we started off with this thing and built and realized this form factor. So that's the potential of this uh, reference design. It's got everything in it. And we can use this to build a whole bunch of devices uh, that really makes up the Internet of Things world. Yeah. Hi, good morning. My name is Jagdish Iyengar. I lead the digital transformation practice uh, at Saskin. Uh, pleasure to be here at uh, the IIT World in Dublin. Beautiful city. Uh, you heard my colleague earlier speak about some of our forays into the connected car and the world of devices in the Internet of Things. Uh, at Saskin, we really see ourselves as a chip to cognitive company, and here's what we mean. Uh, in our belief, the systems of the future really are a coming together of the physical and the digital. So you have the things, you have an edge device that these intelligent things connect to. Uh, there is a certain amount of analytics you do within the edge, and then you push data into the cloud. You do a whole bunch of analytics in the cloud, and then use mobility as a vehicle to deliver these insights to people who can do something with it, right? Kind of the end-to-end -end picture. Uh, so, you know, across industry verticals, we spoke about the connected car, uh, we spoke about wearables uh, in, industry, in, in the industrial segment. Uh, we are building s solutions like this that involve devices, connectivity, some kind of an edge architecture, the cloud, data analytics, and mobility. Uh, and that's what uh, we're trying to do here at Saskia.